A U.S. district judge has ordered Amtrak to accept a $265 million settlement in connection with last year's deadly train crash in the Port Richmond section of Philadelphia. Action News reporter Vernon Odom is live at 30th Street Station. Vernon, Amtrak has accepted the settlement, calling it fair. What are the details and reaction? Jim, it actually involves more than 125 pending lawsuits against Amtrak right now. It's designed, the civil lawyers involved in negotiations say, to compensate the victims and their families sooner rather than perhaps far later. These cases can drag on for many years. Action News video from that night brings back the horror of May 12th of last year when Amtrak 188 Washington to New York derailed here in Philadelphia when the engineer became distracted while going too fast into a curve. Eight passengers were killed, 200 injured. 125 claims are still pending, but today a federal judge signed off on a $265 million settlement. It frequently can take three to seven years to settle these kinds of mass disaster cases. We believe it to be the largest uh, settlement program in a uh, uh, derailment or in a uh, railroad uh, catastrophe, and it also has an element of uh, uniformity and, uh, and, and fairness and uh, uh, expeditious resolution. Not only is this money being paid timely and efficiently, but everybody will have their day uh, in court, so to speak, uh, having a fact finder decide what their case is worth. Geraldine Ritter was severely injured in the 188 crash. She has endured at least a dozen surgeries so far. She spoke with our Chad Perdelli last May on the one year anniversary of the Amtrak catastrophe. My life is so radically different now. I hurt all the time. I think that many of our clients relive that nightmare on a daily basis and are unable to uh, return to not only their normal routines but have nightmares uh, about what happened. Jim, the lawyers with whom we spoke today believe that all of the persons who filed suit could have all their money in their hands by the end of next year, 2017. Live at 30th Street Station, I'm Vernon Odom, Channel 6 Action News. Vernon, thank you.